So best is a scissor over comb technique, a large comb and a large scissor, so we can go through a good amount of hair. I'm going to angle the comb downward towards the back because we're eventually just going to shave over the back anyway. So I'm using the center section as my center guide. I can see it in the comb because I'm using a light colored comb on dark hair. So I'm going to take two sections on each side. Okay, so go across the top section. Now I'm going to take another section. I'm going to start taking the sections on the right hand side. And a really nice benefit to haircuts like this is when uh, this customer sat down, he, he made some comments about his uh, calyx and how much they annoyed him. And the best part of this haircut is we wind up cutting the calyx right down to the point where they don't start to stick up until it's time for another haircut. So this is a very popular haircut for that reason. So again, large comb allows us to control large amounts of hair. And we're just working our way around. And this step doesn't have to be 100% perfect because we are going to be going over a lot of this with our clippers anyway. So now we just want to make sure that that hair is feeding into the comb properly so as that hair is going forward, we're coming against the way it grows. Okay, so we're just continuing to work our way around. As you see, the hair is growing in all different directions, so we've got to go in different directions so we can cut the hair against the grain. That's the way the hair comes off the easiest. Where it gradually goes from no hair into the haircut. So one thing with this customer's hair we have to be careful of is he has a high hairline around the ear so we don't want to get in there and do too deep of a taper because it's going to um, <clears throat> it's going to leave a high arcing white wall around the outline of the haircut. So we just want to do a little bit and leave it alone. Now in the corner here where it's all growing sideways the only thing we're going to do is take this clipper and just in the direction it grows before we come back with the trimmer. And same thing down here. We're going to completely turn it upside down in the corners, but we want to leave the taper. We're going to use this neck here to build a corner there. We don't want to round it off. Then in the middle where it grows straight down, we flip the clipper around and we start to taper it out. Use a little clipper over comb if you have to, to soften that up where that tail is.